Hi, this is Kamal from NokiaViews.com. So Microsoft surprised a lot of us today by releasing a newer version of the Windows 10 Mobile, uh, which is uh, 10536.11000. So they released it today and to the fast ring users. And although this build was uh, a long overdue, we were really expecting Microsoft to push it on Tuesday. Uh, that is the 15th, 15th of uh, this month, September. So anyway, it's very nice to see uh, a new build out in the wild. And this build, I must say, took a lot of time to install. Uh, in my case, it was around um, two hours approximately. And we are really liking their little improvements. Uh, it feels really polished. Not like a fully polished product, but yeah, compared to the previous versions, uh, it's definitely a big improvement. So, um, the operating system um, feels uh, smoother, snappier than before, and uh, Microsoft has really, um, uh, you know, done away with a lot of bugs in this build. For example, the um, quiet hours uh, finally work the way they should. Um, in my case, it, they, have, they will not work because I have not enabled the Cortana, but people are saying that it is working as it should. And mobile hotspot um, is working finally. I had I'm, I have not inserted a SIM, but you know a couple of hours back I did insert one and I tested it, so it was working just fine. And uh, yeah, the irritating lock screen delay is now a thing of past. Yes, there are some delays. It 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 does the the delay is not fully gone, but um, it used to take like 5-6 seconds for the date and time to appear, now it takes like a second or so. Definitely a big improvement. Um, the photo app is much better now. Um, there are some new context menus like press and hold. Um, there's a picture of my kid. So, There are new um, menu options in this build. Um, the pinch to zoom is also better. A little jerky, yeah, but it's much better. The performance of the photo app is a little better on the you know high-end devices like 1520, but. Even on them, the performance is not that good. So Microsoft really needs to work on the photo app because that is the app people are going to use a lot. Um, there are no uh, other changes in the uh, web browsing department. So the Microsoft Edge is still as lazy as it used to be. I'm just saying, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying the way the things are. It's still, uh, you know, a laggy browser, and it doesn't. It just doesn't feel like a finished product, which it is not. So you know, the jerkiness is still there. It's not as still as smooth as the Windows Phone 8.1. There is one more new thing, which is Microsoft calling as the Z Drive. Um, Z storage. Sorry, it does nothing right now, and it just takes you back to home screen. That's something. That's a mysterious product. Um, I really wish Microsoft would uh, enlighten us, us more about it. So um, it's a good update, but it's not exactly wow worthy. After all, um, you know, there are no new features uh, besides the uh, 
advanced uh, be, be, uh, besides the new enhancements in the photo app which I said earlier is still a very jerky app um, I really wish Microsoft would do uh, I really wish Microsoft would have done a better job Uh, but unfortunately that's not the case I'm not saying Microsoft is not doing a good job it's just not good enough you know the best case scenario here is that your Windows 10 uh, device Windows 10 mobile device will feel just almost as okay as your Windows Phone 8.1 device Hey, making OS is not an easy job. So the million dollar question is, is it good for daily use? Um, I don't know. Um, I will still say Windows Phone 8.1 was still more polished. And I personally think that Microsoft will need at least uh, a month or so to really do away with the bugs. Um, is there anything if, if there's anything else you would like to ask me uh, feel free to uh, ask the ask the questions in the comment section below I will try to answer them till then bye bye take care